whenever anybody is trying to get real quality to the consumer, at some point they need to test that what they're doing is correct. And now, of course, the, the new HDR stuff that's coming in, quality control for that is really, really important throughout the workflows. Today, what's really interesting is Atmos, but also HDR, and more and more they are now being incorporated inside encoders. AC4 has, has really the potential to add some flexibility into listening to the audio and watching some video with different point of view, different languages, and that's why we're excited that uh, we have the tools right away to help troubleshooting to make the experience better from the start. These are fantastic tools that put this capability into the hands of folks that are you know, potentially mixing for Netflix or Facebook, and it gives them the tools to provide that really immersive experience, even for people that are just listening to this content on headphones. We've ironed out a lot of the hiccups that made the process less creative. We are also interested in AC4 because of the VR. You know, 360, we need to have specialization of the sound, and clearly AC4 is very good candidate for the audio specialization. Like any advance, I think everybody's interested in better quality and better things for the consumer in the end. And Dolby has always been a part of that wider issue. And I think some of the work that it's doing with the new formats is excellent. You build them and we'll test them. <laughs>